Hey everybody, it's Gianna, and in today's video, I am coming at you guys with a get ready with me and Ipsy unbagging. I am so excited for this Ipsy unbagging just because I have a lot of good stuff in this bag. I cannot wait to show you guys. So I'm going to start this video by explaining what Ipsy is for all of those who don't know what it is. So Ipsy is basically a monthly subscription and every month they send you five makeup products to try and there are three different types of like subscriptions so there's a $12 one it's either 12 or 15 but that's like the first one and you get five sample size products and then there is the one that I have I pay $25 and I get five full size products and then there is the biggest one I believe that one is 50 and for that one you get 12 full size products. Ipsy is such a great way to discover new makeup products and just add to your collection if you're a makeup junkie like me and yeah, let's just get into the video. Hey. <laughs> My strawberry kisses. I go fly. Ipsy always sends these every month. These just kind of explain the theme and it gives some like other fun information in here. If you guys want to look at it, I personally always just throw these away. This is the bag this month. It is this really cute little pouch. It has like roses and it's like pink. And I hate when Ipsy sends these drawstring bags. I'm pretty sure I said that in my last Ipsy video, but I've had like two of these bags just break on me when I was using them. It might just be because I over stuff them anytime I take them with me but still it's just annoying I'm gonna start getting ready now so the first thing I always do before I get ready is put on like a lip plumper so this is one of my favorite ones this is the Too Faced lip injections I have the maximum plump right here and I love this it just makes my lips nice and big so by the end of my makeup routine my lips are perfect for lipstick and like lip liner and all that stuff so the first product Ipsy sent me this month is this eye cream I actually chose this one I used my points to get this product because every time you like rate your bags on the products that Ipsy sends you they give you points and once your points reach a certain amount you can like save them and use them on other things that they'll send you in your bag so I got this this is by the brand Hanale and this is the Kona peptide Hawaiian eye cream so I'm gonna try this now for you guys so I just squeezed a little under my eyelids obviously you're not gonna be able to see like the results with this right away um, it's definitely gonna take me a couple of uses to find out if i really like this or not so sorry i can't rate this product exactly but honestly this did feel really nice and it kind of gave that like blurring effects you know when you use like the benefit professional or like the elf like just anything that like fills in your pores that's what this kind of made like my eyes feel like but yeah i don't really have that many eye creams so that is why i chose this product so i'm really excited i just dropped it but i'm really excited to see how this works so the next thing Ipsy sent me is another thing that I added on. The only thing is I actually had to buy this product. It wasn't free like the eye cream, but this product was only like $3, so I don't mind. But basically at the end, when you're like choosing the products that you want in your bag, Ipsy gives you the option to add like extra products in your bag. So normally it comes with five products, but they do give you the option to add some more for like really cheap prices too. So I'm pretty sure this one was like $3, but this is by Olaplex and this is their hair perfector. I've heard really good things about this brand and I've seen it all over TikTok so I figured I would try this. You are supposed to use this product on wet hair so obviously I can't try it now but it's supposed to help like strengthen and repair damaged hair. So yeah I'm really excited to try this. I'll probably try it tonight. So now that I showed you guys a couple of the things Ipsy sent me I'm gonna continue with my makeup routine until I get to use one of the next products that Ipsy sent me. When I normally make these videos, I don't typically like film every little thing. I normally only film like what I'm getting in my Ipsy bag, like me using those products. So I'm gonna try something different and I'm going to film my whole makeup routine. I'm not gonna tell you everything that I'm actually using. If you guys wanna know my like everyday makeup routine, definitely let me know. But I'm only going to like explain the Ipsy product. So I am doing my brows now. I played some music in the bag just because I always play music when I'm getting ready. It just helps me get ready faster and Oh, it's just fun. But for my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. That's the one that matches me the best, so that's the one that I use. 
gonna be using this Lancome foundation to outline my brows and to, you know, put all over my face. Now I'm going to be applying my concealer and cream contour, so I just apply it in these spots, so under my eyes, on my nose, my chin, and then I like to highlight right here, and yeah. And then my cream contour, I just apply like a little bit around my forehead, on my cheek. And then on my nose as well. This looks kind of crazy, but I promise it does get better for sure. And now that everything is set, I'm just going to wipe away all the excess powder and then add a little bit more to my forehead. I'm just going to bronze and I only have a little bit of bronzer left and it's like all broken. So that's fun. So now that I'm done with contour and bronzer, I'm gonna show you guys the next thing Ipsy sent me because it's pretty useful for the next step. So it is a makeup brush set. This is by the brand Shayna B and this is what they look like. They're so cute. They're like a really pretty like metallic pink kind of. Comes with five really cute brushes. This one's definitely like a powder or like blush brush and then all these ones are for eye makeup this one says it's for setting but i'm going to use this for blush just because i think this would make a really good blush brush and that leads me on to the next product that ipsy sent me which is a blush from ofra this is the blush rose ultra pigmented pressed blush i love this because it's very different from a lot of the other blushes that i have i feel like i lot of, i have a lot of like pink and coral blushes so this is really cool so i'm gonna go ahead and dip this into there and then just apply my blush this is such a pretty color and it doesn't go on like too harshly at all either and this brush is super freaking soft all the brushes that this set came with are so soft so this is what the blush looks like. I really like this blush because I definitely had to work to get this amount of pigment on my face and I like that because I don't really like a blush that's like so much pigment right away. I really like like building up so I can choose how much I want and I really love the way this looks so far. I'm all done with my base now so that leads me on to eyes. So Ipsy actually sent me an eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It is so freaking cute. So this palette is by Illuminati Cosmetics and it is a collab with Isabel Bedoya. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But let me just say this palette is so gorgeous. I love this palette so much. So Isabel did a really good job. Like look at how pretty this is. Hoping the quality of this palette is good. So I'm going to start making a look and I am going to use these brushes as well. So I'm just going to turn my music on and create a look. I'm obviously going to show you guys what I'm doing in the colors I'm using. the eye look I did using the palette all of the brushes 10 out of 10 the palette I don't really know there was quite a lot of fallout I don't know if you guys can see it in the clips but I definitely had to wipe away a lot from all the shadows and also it did take a lot to like build up like the colors weren't like extremely pigmented the products I chose this month is the milk makeup kush mascara guys this is one of my favorite mascaras ever i originally tried this mascara um when i got my birthday gift from sephora and this was a part of it and it was like a little sample size though so it wasn't much but 
when I did have it I loved it and I still have a little bit of the sample left so this is so hard to open this is what the wand looks like I don't typically like like big wands like this I like nice thin ones but this one is so good so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna zoom in and apply mascara Okay, so I have the Kush Mascara on my top and bottom lashes. This is what they look like. I love this mascara. This is like straightforward. I feel like my lashes look really pretty. This mascara definitely does its job. So now we are really close to the end of my makeup. So now I'm gonna do highlight. I always set my face before I do my highlight so it glows better. So I'm just gonna do highlight on my cheeks and then on my nose and then my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin and yeah I love when the highlight like makes your face look kind of wet like just looks so pretty so the next product is another thing that I added on this did cost a little bit extra and this is by st. Lux and basically what this is is it's two lip pencils so these are what they look like these are in the shade Moscato and then what is the other one Vino so they look like they're really pretty colors. I'm gonna swatch them. Oh my god, guys. I literally just went to go swatch this one and the whole tip broke off. I am disappointed. Didn't even like up push that hard and this whole little tip just broke off. I'm gonna try the next one. Let's hope that doesn't happen too. So let's see. I'll pull a little lighter. Oh my gosh, wait, that's actually so pretty. So this one is Vino. And this is Moscato. I know that swatch looks weird, but that's because it's literally broke, so I'm gonna have to sharpen this. So I'm just gonna use a Vino today. Can't believe that like just broke right when I went to go swatch it like that. So I applied the lip liner. This is Vino. It is such a pretty like kind of like shimmery red and now I'm gonna show you guys the last product it's the sent me this is a tart lip oil this is their maracuja I want to say that I said that right but it's a lip oil it's also in the shade orchid and this is what it looks like out of the packaging this is literally such a pretty color and all you do is kind of just push the bottom up Oh, this already feels so hydrating oh my gosh this is so pretty my lips were literally so chopped before and now they feel so hydrated and this just looks so pretty I love the way the the lips look my lips were literally so chopped before and now they feel so hydrated and this just looks so pretty I love the way the the lips look but this this is really good I actually really like this so my camera is literally about to die so this is the final look I hope you guys liked this video if you want to check ipsy out definitely check the link in the description and also if you like watching me do my makeup check out my makeup instagram account i always leave that in the description as well and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye